Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten Me. Today we will explore the latest innovations in GPS technology, electric vehicles, and renewable energy initiatives. Stay tuned for insights into these exciting developments. The EU Commission's investigation has provisionally found that China's battery electric vehicle, BEV, value chain, benefits from unfair subsidies, posing a threat to EU BEV producers. The Commission has shared its findings with Chinese authorities to seek a WTO-compatible resolution. If no solution is reached, provisional countervailing duties will be imposed from 4th or July, collected if definitive duties are later confirmed. Duties include 17.4% for BYD, 20% for Geely, and 38.1% for SEICE, with other cooperative producers facing a 21% duty and non-cooperative ones, 38.1%. Tesla may receive an individually calculated duty. The investigation, initiated on 4 October 2023, must conclude within 13 months. Provisional duties will be published within nine months and definitive measures within four months thereafter. The Commission has informed all interested parties and allows for comments. In 2018, William Nordhaus won the Nobel Prize for his research showing a Fernigrisius rise in global temperature would reduce global economic output by 1 to 3 percent. However, recent research by Adrian Bilal of Harvard and Diego Kenzis of Northwestern indicates the impact is six times greater. Their study finds a firm degree C rise could lower world GDP by 12% and suggests a social cost of carbon at $1,056 per ton of carbon dioxide. The research emphasizes that extreme weather events will significantly increase, causing productivity losses and infrastructure damage. It also argues that investments in climate protection are more critical and valuable than previously thought. While some criticize the findings for not considering climate adaptation, others believe the economic damage has been vastly underestimated. This new study underscores the necessity for comprehensive international climate policies. Iceland, once reliant on costly fossil fuel imports, now generates 100% of its electricity from renewable resources, transforming into the 15th richest country globally per capita. This shift began during the 1970s oil crisis, leading geologists to explore glacial rivers, waterfalls, and volcanic landscapes for energy. By the early 1980s, nearly all energy production was renewable. Iceland's latest venture, the Krafla Magma Testbed Project, aims to harness energy from a volcano's magma chamber, potentially producing 10 times the power of traditional geothermal plants. The project, beginning around 2026, could revolutionize global energy practices. Iceland's geothermal success has enabled diverse industries, including aluminum production and even banana cultivation. Despite initial challenges, Iceland's commitment to renewable energy sets a model for the world, highlighting the potential of geothermal power. Clayton, a leading single-family home builder, is converting nearly all of its 42,000 annual manufactured homes to Energy Star and Zero Energy Ready Homes, ZEHR, certifications. This move will increase efficiency and reduce utility bills by up to 50% for homeowners. Clayton's switch to Zetch includes the installation of heat pump water heaters, HPWHs, marking the largest procurement of HPWHs in history, boosting the market by 30%. The Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, incentivized this shift by increasing tax credits for energy-efficient homes. Clayton's E-Built R homes feature various efficiency upgrades, including LED lighting, smart thermostats, and additional insulation. Despite some installation challenges, feedback from homeowners has been positive, highlighting significant reductions in energy bills. This initiative addresses rising energy costs and promotes a sustainable future. Next, 
we examine global disparities in steel consumption. The disparity in steel consumption between developed and developing nations is stark. In Europe and the USA, individuals use three to four times their body mass in steel annually. The USA has seen a decline in per capita steel consumption, partly due to deindustrialization and increased use of scrap steel. China's per capita steel production, although high, isn't unprecedented historically when compared to past peaks in the USA and Europe. Developing countries like India and African nations have significantly lower consumption rates. India's steel use is rising with its affluence, but Africa remains low. The developed world's steel use is driven by cars and infrastructure, while developing nations focus on building essential infrastructure. Emerging technologies and materials are poised to make future construction more efficient and less carbon intensive. And now, pivot our discussion towards automotive news. Modern systems like aviation, road networks, emergency response, farming, power grids, and military defense heavily rely on GPS. However, GPS faces threats from adversaries capable of jamming, destroying, or spoofing signals, posing significant economic risks. Sean Moore, CEO of Turn AI, aims to provide an alternative through their independently derived positioning system, IDPS, which bypasses satellite signals by using AI to process vehicle and phone sensor data. Turn AI recently raised $4.4 million in seed funding and plans to integrate its technology with mapping services like Apple Maps and Google Maps. Unlike GPS, Turn AI's system is resistant to jamming and spoofing, offering a secure solution. This technology has been validated internally and aligns with the U.S. Department of Transportation's accuracy standards. Turn AI aims for a commercial launch in September and is in talks with various industries and government departments. Telotruck, a California electric vehicle startup, is set to launch a mini electric pickup in the US inspired by Japan's Keijidosha standards. The truck features a 350-mile battery and a compact 152-inch length, similar to the Mini Cooper SE with a 60-inch bed comparable to a Toyota Tacoma. Tello has already logged over 2,500 pre-orders and secured $5.4 million in funding led by NEO, with Mark Tarpening of Sparrow Ventures joining its board. Partnering with Aria Group, Tello aims to create prototypes combining advanced manufacturing and design. The truck targets urban markets, offering maneuverability, efficiency, and practicality. Fisker is recalling its all-electric ocean SUV due to non-compliant warning lights, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA. The instrument panel displays brake, park, and anti-lock brake system warning lights in incorrect sizes and colors. Additionally, multiple warning lights fail to illuminate during the ignition cycle. The issue will be resolved via an over-the-air update. The recall affects all 6,864 Ocean SUVs in the U.S., with updates also planned for 4,056 vehicles in the EU and 281 in Canada. This recall is separate from four active NHTSA investigations into the Ocean model, which involve inadvertent automatic emergency braking, sudden braking loss, vehicle rollaway, and door malfunctions. Fisker is currently facing severe financial difficulties, including halted production and workforce reductions. The new Hispano Suiza Carmen Sagrera is a rear drive quad motor EV supercar with 1100 horsepower, designed for track duty with upgraded cooling and braking systems. The interior, revamped by Ital Design, is more refined than previous models. The Carmen Sagrera features a carbon fiber monocoque and bodywork, an upgraded 103-point Arquillo Ladoer battery pack weighing 1,350 pounds, and a peak charging rate of 100 kWh. It has a claimed range of 300 miles on Europe's WLTP cycle. 
weight distribution is improved to nearly 50-50. The powertrain includes four 275 HP electric motors driving the rear wheels. The car introduces a virtual differential and a distinctive stork wing-shaped rear spoiler. The suspension uses lightweight dual wishbones and adaptive dampers with carbon ceramic brakes. Hispano Suiza plans to sell the Carmen Sagrera for 2.5 million euros, about $3.2 million dollars, before taxes. The 2024 BMW 530i, regardless of being rear-wheel drive, RWD, or all-wheel drive, AWD, is equipped with a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine producing 255 horsepower and 295 lb-ft of torque, aided by a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Both versions feature an 8-speed automatic transmission with varying modes for performance. Testing showed the RWD 530i slightly outperformed the AWD 530i in acceleration, achieving 0.60 mph in 5.5 seconds compared to 5.6 seconds. However, the AWD version offered better grip and stopping distance. Performance-wise, the AWD option doesn't justify its $2,300 premium on dry pavement, but may be beneficial in low traction conditions. Both variants lack driver feedback and engagement, falling short of BMW's reputation for dynamic driving experiences. Join us as we explore Jeep's plans for an electric renegade. The Jeep Renegade will return in 2027 as an electric vehicle with a starting price under $25,000. Jeep CEO Antonio Filosa confirmed this during an investor presentation. The new Renegade EV will differ significantly from its previous gas-powered version. While gas and hybrid options haven't been ruled out, only the electric variant is confirmed. Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares noted the need for lithium iron phosphate batteries to meet the pricing goal in the United States. Additionally, Jeep will launch the Wagoneer SEV by the end of 2023, followed by the Wrangler sized Recon in late 2024 and a new generation Compass by 2027. Two more models will debut next year one on the STLA large platform and the other on the STLA medium platform, possibly including the return of the Cherokee. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond all curated to fit your interests. Download the EnlightMe app now at the Apple Store or Google Play or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.